Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I took y'all outside because I got bored of sitting inside my house with the same old scenery. Actually, where I'm going. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Anyways, today I'll be talking about moving out and the joy of moving out. <sighs> so I moved out of my mom's house when I was 22 years old, four months ago, approximately four months ago. I moved from New York to Houston, like I've been saying for the past, I don't know, month. <laughs> and the transition is like, it's not that hard for me because I was born in Grenada. So I'm so used to this, like green grass, you know, beautiful scenery. So if you're watching this video right now, it obviously means like you're thinking about moving out and you don't know where to start. So what I'm here to tell you is, get ready you know if you want to if you're you made up your mind that this is really what you want to do I'm not gonna discourage you what I am gonna say though is to start preparing because preparation is key if you stay ready you won't have to get ready hey y'all <laughs> so we basically got kicked out of the playground I'm joking we didn't get kicked out but what had happened was you know we were over there and school was still in session so like they were coming out and like the leader of the you know I don't know, like she's a teacher, parent, whatever. She was just like, and I was like, and then at the end, she was like, let, let, let's just go. So we winded up in the clubhouse where I'll be continuing, should you move out or not? You should move out. Why should you move out? How much money I need to move out? Oh my God, where am I moving to? All right, first of all, that's all the questions that you can find answers to doing your research. You have to do your research because if you don't do your research, you're going to get stuck. What do you mean stuck? The hell? This ain't no sticky situation. It is. It really is. So how are you going to get stuck? You can get stuck by moving to the wrong state, moving to a state and you can't find a job. Sounds a lot like me, right? I know. But <laughs> God got me. Don't worry, y'all. So yeah, moving to the wrong state, you know, not having enough money or just moving into a totally bad situation. Boom, let's start. Point number one. You should move out because you get freedom. You know, it's so cool. Like you get to come in whenever you want, go out whenever you want, and you have the freedom to decorate. Yes, you do. Also, you have the freedom to invite or uninvite whoever you don't want in your house. I think that's pretty important to me, you know? And imagine like being stuck somewhere, having a family gathering and you didn't want like cousin Rhonda to come and now you have the freedom to be like, Rhonda, I'm sorry, you're not invited. <laughs> or or you can just not send an invitation. But it's just like you, you are the boss in your house. Now if you have a roommate or you live with somebody, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit different. <laughs> It's a little bit different and it could get a little bit complicated because oh my god it's like two people merging together living together for the first time it's a little frustrating and i'm going to have another video about moving in and living with your spouse it's not hard it's actually really fun but obviously just like everything in the world like it's not always black and white it's that little gray area that i'm going to talk to y'all about so all right let's let's get to it so like i said um Angel's was like, oh, you know, let's just save $10,000 each um, just to be financially stable, like when we move out, so we don't have to like rush to get a job, or if we don't get a job right then and there, then everything is going to be, you know, okay, because we have money. So I'm like, all right, that, that, that's cool, but I may not be able to make that target in the time frame that you're giving to me, so we got to come up with a plan B. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, so bro, you telling me that if I don't have 10 grand in my bank account or like individually that we can't move out. He's like, oh no, that's not what I'm saying. You know, what I'm basically saying is just, it's, it's, it's wise, okay? So I was like, okay, cool. Long story short, we actually only spent, we actually only needed, um, because when we moved here, we didn't have any money. Like, you know, we had no type of money. We had no type of money. Sorry, though. Put, put that out there. <laughs> you know, we only have. <laughs> we only got. Um, we a wedding, and that's all we had, you know. Individually, we had like what? A thousand dollars. He had a thousand dollars. And you don't, honestly don't even need that much. 
it, but if you're a first time renter, they're gonna like be on top of you for that first and that last month. So let's say you rent at five hundred dollars to move in total, you're gonna need like a thousand, a thousand three hundred, whatever, something to be comfortable. But all you need is that first and last month, and you know that gives you like depending on what month it is, um, thirty days to figure out where you're gonna get the rest of that money from for the next month and. That's how you do. All right, so question number two. How on earth are you getting from point A to point B? I have a thought. You can get from point A to point B by researching the state that you're moving to. The only state with like a reliable public transportation is New York and Philadelphia. Don't ask me how I know about Philly, but I know about New York. Literally, public transportation is integrated in the culture. Although it's not my most oh, it's reliable because sometimes, you know, you can get to work 15, 10 minutes late, but like compared to here, Thank you, New York. Um, you want to know how you're going to move your stuff, right? Angels and I, we packed up the car and we moved. Literally, the only valuable thing I think was in that car was a fish tank. Took up, like, the whole back seat. But, you know, um, we considered a U-Haul, of course, because Angels is a border and he has, like, a lot of stuff. We considered a U-Haul and they were charging us $2,000. $2,000 for... Um, New York to Texas, and that's not even including the mileage. Like, imagine how much mi it's like 2,000 miles. 12 what? 12 miles. 1,200 miles. $2,000 flat plus the 2,000 miles. I mean, plus gas. Plus gas. Plus dropping it off when we're finished. You know, and not to say that you all is a bad company. No, no, you're saying that you gotta refill it up. Yeah. When you leave, yeah. you gotta fill up the tank. All right, yeah. you actually, you have to fill up the tank. You have to fill up the gas tank before you give back the truck. Now, please sit there with your calculator. I'm not even gonna do the math because I'm horrible. Horrible with numbers. I mean, I'm good with money, but I'm horrible with numbers. So, yeah, that was just, it was a no for me. It could be a yes for you depending on where you're moving. And they do have like different, um, different sizes of trucks or like, a wagon that you can use but Anderson and I couldn't do the wagon which was like only $500 because um, it was gonna take out the bottom of our car I don't know it was just a bad idea so we just left it all together and we used the car question number three how on earth am I getting the most bang for my buck you can get the most bang for your buck if you do your research again um, you want to know like comparing states right in New York I'll be getting a um, a, a two-bedroom apartment with two bathrooms for two thousand dollars whereas over here you know let's say dallas for example i'm gonna get two bedrooms two bathrooms for fourteen hundred dollars is that a good deal absolutely you're saving yourself six hundred dollars that's a big big deal that could be used somewhere else right um you definitely 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 want to compare and contrast like over and over and over and over till you get you know the best deal for you what I did was I used this app called Apartment List. It was really, really, really good. Like I scouted out the area, see what was there, told them how much I wanted to pay. It's a really great app. Um, I do recommend it if you're really serious about moving out. And um, that's how I was able to find like a few places that I should, you know, that I would consider. And with that being said, I went on apartment tours, which is easy to set up. A lot of people don't talk about, you know, how do I get an apartment tour? What do I do? So basically, I just went on apartment list, the app, and I um, selected the property, read up on it, see what I want, amenities like pool, um, dishwasher, garage, free parking, whatever you're interested in. That's what I was interested in. I looked it up. I saw where it was, saw the number. Hey, um, how are you guys? I'd like to set up an apartment tour, and then they'll be like, okay, sure, no problem, give me a day, right? What Angels and I did, we came out to Houston, and that's where we saw all the apartments and availability, and we called up and said, hey, okay, we're in the area, can we do it this day, that day, or the third day? And that's how we were able to do apartment tours. Actually, I'll show you guys, like, right now, um, a couple of apartment tours that I went on, and yeah, so let's do that right now.
Those places were really nice, I know, but unfortunately, I can only live in one place, and that's here where I chose. So, like I said, you want to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck. That that means you're not gonna go on one tour and be like, oh wow, this is it. I know for sure, for sure, for sure, because I got that personality um, trait. It's called a toxic trait that I have, where I see something and I'm like, hmm, this is it. There's nothing else. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And that's a bad attitude. You have to be able to be open and see because. Nine times out of ten, it may not be the one, you know, it may be the one you saw the first time around, but there are, like, so many other options which could be better money-wise and as far as, like, amenity-wise, which is cool. So, what I'm, what I'm getting at? I'm getting at the fact that set them up, like, we came out here for a week. Set up the tours. That way you can see, like, multiple on the day. You get what I mean? So like wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Obviously most places open at 9. Um, call them up. Hey, I'd like to set up a tour with you. 10 o'clock. Alright, cool. Just, the tours usually last like 5-10 minutes. Call up. See where the other one is at. And just keep doing it like that. That's how we did it. We probably went on a, like we went on a lot of um, apartment tours. But, you know, like I said, we were only able to choose one place to live. And this is where we chose. Um, another thing, right? So I know, shout out to all my independent people that's looking at this video. <laughs> Annoying. But my independent people <laughs> that's watching this video, you know, it's great. It's great that you wanna move by yourself, you wanna do what you wanna do, and that's amazing. But like me, and another toxic trait that I have, I feel like I could take on the world on my own. If hmm. I got Jesus, everything is possible. Hmm. We all know that. If we got Jesus, everything is possible. However, it's better if you move with someone. Someone who? I don't know, a friend, someone like, somebody you could trust. Obviously, you don't want to move in with like nasty people. You don't want to move in with people who have a bad attitude or people who would not bring in their half of the rent. Like, that's ridiculous. But it's always good to like have a roommate um, just because like everything goes down the middle and it's more comfortable for you because you get to go like go out, have fun, do whatever you got to do, and still have some money left over. But in the state that I'm in, um, you know, you could work be by yourself and still pay the bills. You can still go out, you can still donate, you can still help somebody, you know? So it, it all depends. Okay, so last but not least, you want to make sure that your job offers a transfer. If it doesn't offer a transfer, 
then you want to make it your duty to start looking for a job immediately after you decide that you want to move. Before you even go on the apartment tour, before you even go to the next day for vacation, you want to start looking for jobs where you know you're going to move. Because what I realized is it's going to be really, really, really tough. Like I found millions of videos on YouTube about how I didn't get a job when I first moved. How I got a job and then I moved. You get what I'm saying? So I made a mistake and I don't want y'all to make the same mistake. So please ask your job for a transfer. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Good luck on your move. Or if you're just watching it to support me, thank you. I really do see and appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. Leave comments below on if you want more information about moving or if you want me to make a video about anything, just leave that in my comments. Also, follow me on my Instagram as well as my WordPress, which will both be in the description. And just have a good one, y'all. Stay tuned.